But are we really friends if I can't say exactly what's on my mind? I hope you all enjoyed that mushy romantic stuff with Venus and Pisces because now we've got Venus and Aries and she has a little bit of a different way that she would like to express her love and affection. Venus in Aries is a lot more independent. She's a little sharper, a little sassier, and likes to jest a little bit. Venus in Aries is confronting, but maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's what we need in love, is not just always this passive, submissive, welcoming, and embracing kind of energy. Venus in Aries wants to tell you what's on her mind. Venus in Aries wants to call you out. Venus in Aries wants that clear, honest communication. And who ultimately doesn't want that from the people that they love? I know some people find it a little uncomfortable, but this is what we love about Aries energy is that it's not always what we stereotypically think of when we think of Aries is like, brash, bombastic, and wanting to fight. Maybe Mars and Aries, we could say those things about. But Venus and Aries is a very sparkly, very enigmatic and charming energy to it. There's something bright and alive about Venus and Aries. And it's very present, direct, and engaging. It's not like this avoidant kind of energy. If we are feeling like we need some space right now after all that mushy, lovey stuff in Pisces, Venus and Aries in the collective right now may say, yeah, I really just need to take a solo trip right now. I really need to spend some more time working on this thing or doing th these things with my friends versus the like hand-holding side of romance. Venus and Aries says, I will race you to the top of that hill and and then we can like roll down it together <laughs> as a way to bond. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm thinking a lot about where the eclipses are happening and what is being invited. And I know that we've been talking about this so much lately here about the nodal balance between Aries and Libra and how we're all being invited right now to kind of check in with how that balance shows up in our lives. So we've had a lot of relationship themes coming up as a result of this Libra eclipse, as a result of the Venus-Saturn conjunction in Pisces. And yeah, we got a little lift, hopefully, with the Venus-Neptune conjunction in Pisces. So where does that leave us now? Hopefully something opened and we're choosing honesty, we're choosing authenticity, we're choosing open and clear communication. There's still a way to do that with compassion and with awareness, but to be forthcoming is, is important. And to be in relationships with people who can hear that from you, whatever you have to say in all your realness, that is also so important. So Venus enters Aries. Let's get the, the stats on this. Enters Aries on April 4th and is going to hang out here for the better part of the month. Venus will be here through April 29th. Venus in Aries is independent, fiery, and very it's it's a very magnetic and lit up placement. So it's still we're still going to have tons of fun in love. Um but yeah, Venus is in detriment in Aries, so there's something about showing our love in a way that is maybe non-conventional. Right. So not what we think of as stereotypical, mushy, romantic stuff. Um, Venus and Aries, like, you know, if you love someone, you might make fun of them a little bit. <laughs> like, you know, obviously knowing the limits and everything like that. But that can be a way of showing love and affection. Joking with people. What we have here is Venus is picking up speed. Venus is moving very fast. Venus is still a morning star right now. When we have Venus as a morning star, especially in a sign with Aries, we can expect to see a little bit more social unrest. So since Venus became a morning star, I believe last fall, 
we've been seeing that like a lot more social unrest, a lot more social discontent. So I feel like that cooled down a little bit when we had Venus in Pisces. But now that Venus is back in Aries and this happens, this ingress happens right before a big Aries eclipse, I feel like we're going to see an uptick in demonstration, in protests and things like that. So just be aware of that. Um, there's probably, we're probably going to see a lot more, um, I don't know, in my neighbor, in my city where I live, I saw like people stopping traffic on the freeway and stuff like that. So I would expect for things like that to, to pick up, especially as we come into this next eclipse. So for right now, that is a little bit about Venus and Aries energy and how we can expect to feel that in the collective and in our personal lives. We'll be talking more about Venus in Aries as she moves through the sign. Um, there is like a little conjunction with the North Node that we need to talk about. So next time we talk about Venus, we'll be talking about that. But for right now, this is your astrology shot of the day and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also head on over to my website, katherineurban.com, where you can book your next astrology reading. We'll go into depth into your natal chart, your progressions, your perfections, your solar return, your transits, and beyond. You can also join my mailing list where you can stay up to date with me on new classes as well as article drops. I look forward to connecting with you, and I'll see you next time.